Futures pointing south, down 200 for the Dow, down 140 for the Nasdaq. That's the backdrop. Here is David Barnson, who is basically our dividend guy. A very good time to get into high dividend paying stocks right now because no, it's always a good time. David, what do you got for me today? I think you've got Walgreens. Is that right? Yeah, let's start with Walgreens because I cannot believe how low this valuation's gotten about seven times earnings and about a four and a half percent dividend yield. So you enter at a great high dividend yield. That's three times the S&P's yield, which is only one and a half percent. And they've grown it every year for about 70 years. So the, and the chances of that, the value of the stock going down are kind of slim because it's come down a long way anyway. So the dividend is high and you might get a capital gain as well. Is, is that what you're telling us? Yeah, I, I don't know if the stock goes lower or higher. It's up right now about 10% in the last six weeks. It came down. Remember, Target, Walmart, yeah. all of these came down. Walmart kind of indicated the other day it was up 6% that maybe things are starting to write a little bit there. They got their inventories under control. Okay. Tell me about JP Morgan, which yields 3.3% and you like it. Yeah, I came into this stock after the financial crisis. So we've owned it now for about 13 years and they've raised the dividend every year and they are by far the healthiest of the big banks. It's come down a lot this year because all the financials have when interest rates and the yield curve inverted. But I think that as the yield curve begins to steepen, whether that's in a month or in six months, these things are priced to really improve. And we've experienced this in the past. They're committed to the dividend and they're a very well run, profitable bank. The thing I got to watch is if they get a little out of control with this ESG stuff and getting a little more woke. I watch that with them. But so far, it's been more rhetoric than real action. Can you just update me on one stock, which I think you liked some time ago, high, pays a high dividend. That was Intel. That thing has fallen out of bed. It's down to the mid 30s. You still like it for its dividend? Yeah, we like it more, but not for the dividend. The dividend is proof of why we like it, that we think that they're invested in a future path that's been expensive. It's going to take time. They're trying to bring manufacturing of, of chips back to America. They're doing this in Arizona, Ohio. It's going to cost money, but it's going to pay off at the end, sir. All right, we hear you. David Barnson, thank you very much indeed, sir.